Hello everyone, this is Animal speaking to you. Do you this moment right here? Indeed, yes. We are now to the semi finals of the BBR season. And for this match, it's gonna be Pulsecom. <laughs> I am sorry to tell you guys this now, but. Sadly it is because when I was checking back to see if the, the video was good and everything the audio was not part of the good stuff. I mean that was still good. So I actually needed to do post -com for this match so I couldn't so I can't even just uh, Okay, you you guys saw me do this before, okay? It's 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 not gonna be too bad. Alright. You you guys are fine with post -com, even though it's semis? You guys are? I hope. Uh, okay, anyway. So, I hope you guys won't mind uh, this little inconvenience. But, uh, worry not. I will act natural. Even though this is an animal that knows the results speaking to you. I will, of course, keep it natural. So, no worries. Just think of me as if I still don't know anything. And I'm still fresh for the match. That I still have no idea what's going to happen next. Okay? No idea of who won, no idea what, what happens. Okay. So on this, for this semi-finals, we're up against Aster. We fought him before, during week 5, so it's gonna be a rematch. The thing is, we fought him week 5. In week 6, that's when we changed our team. So even though it's a rematch, I, it's still gonna feel different. A little bit, but it's still very important. So what he brought... Uh, last time, he brought Iron Thread, Spring Marina, Yuxi, his Crafty, Muck, and Mian Shao. Leaving on the bench is Spectrior, Cinderace, Salamence, and Thunderous. So that's his team. Also a reminder, the is Crafty can tear to a Poison or Fairy type. But now, compared to now, since I no longer have the likes of Garganacle, Spectrior as a whole becomes a little bit scary, since now it is pretty much just... To wrap I could take on, I mean, take hits from it. Beside that, the lack of Cinderace can still be threatening, even though he didn't buy it last time, but maybe he will do this time. Maybe he'll try to focus more on Therapod and Scrafty than Muck this time, since Muck did struggle with his Pecheron. Like, yeah, he was able to prevent Pecheron to, get, to just do his stuff, but it's not like Muck did anything back to it, it was just a matter of time. And then probably will also bench Mian Shao because same reason it got stuffed by Petrarant. But obviously he's gotta bring traits, like for sure. This one is just a demon. And yeah, and on that, on the till we're done, I'm gonna progress the little video a little bit. Wait one second. Okay, there you go. Hey, come on, me, me of the pass. Come on, show the show Terapagos. Show Terapagos me of the pass. I have to do everything myself here. There you go. So, for starter, the Terrapagos. We're gonna use an Assault Vest set with Terra Star Storm, Crouch, Scorching Sand, and Rapid Spin. We are very speed deaf, and on top of that, we are AV, which was a last second change right before the match, but felt like AV could be very good instead of leftovers. Of course, Star Storm is Star Storm. Crunch is to hit special on his defense stat if he tries to just calm himself on me. Scorching Sand is to damage the likes of Iron Treads. And since we're not gonna kill it anyway, we might, we might as well just fish for a burn. And then Spin is obviously Spin. Pretty self explanatory. Next, we're bringing the Choice Band Ice Q. We are literally max max in attack and speed because in the no ice phase, we, at worst, speed type Petrier, and if you forget that Ice Q can be fast in the Doe Ice form, we could be faster than it. We have Crash, we have Flip Turn, Facade, and Waterfall. Like, even with a Choice Ban, Ice Q hit, can hit hard, but not as hard, so I went with two flinch moves to potentially help Ice Q survive. Facade, in case I get burned by Cinderace, like if I switch into a Power Ball and get an unlucky burn. And flip turn is flip turn because obviously it's draft league. We know momentum. Momentum is good. When to click it. Next, speaking of max max, we have Petcharant. This time in HP and defense, holding a rocky helmet, punning shot, nightshade, recover, and malignant. 
Next thing is just to have solid damage versus the mock and the scrafty. And parting shot is just to really build it out. It's pretty self-explanatory. There's no, there's no big in-depth of this. It's just a good Pokemon to have. Also, as you can see, this is indeed me recording because you can see my mouse right here. Hey, hey, hey. Next is old, reliable, better I recorded. You know what it does. It just click with liquidation. And then it has web. Just in case I want web. I, it, it has troubles because there's literally nothing else better. And then Terra Blast, which might sound weird because I have liquidation that is stronger. But Terra Blast has the advantage of not making contact. So if he tries something like Helmet Primarina to wear it on Bended uh, our Grenade, I can just Terra Blast and not make contact. I know it's a roll to tweak kill, even versus uh, Max HP in my defense. I think it's in my favor, I don't remember. I just remember that in practice, I just. I was able to tweet KO more than fail to tweet KO with Arrow Grenade. Next, uh, uh, yeah. Gudra right here. And with a very offensive with some bulk, Gudra with Gooey and Citrus Berry. I have Pulse, I have Scald, I have Slush Bomb, I have Knockoff. Pretty standard move set. Of course, Pulse is a stab. Scald to hit Strat, but actually burn it if we don't kill. Slash bump to hit Prim, knockoff is knockoff. I give it gooey and enough speed in case I switch it into like an heavy slam of treads so that we I'll be faster at him being minus one. And then last, Iron Crown with a booster energy, Tachyon Cutter, Calm Mind, Star Power, Iron Defense. Its stats are EV so that it has one more speed than its special attack so I get a booster in speed. So we can just try and get some combine and iron defense boost with of course start power to get stronger and tachyon is tachyon. So yeah, so that's the team. For versus Aster, we can jump right to it, we don't need to wait. And there you are. He decided to bring the Spectrier, Salamence, Mock, Yuxi, Iron Threat, and Scrafty. So he basically did well a lot of change. So basically, he decided to drop the uh, Mian Shao for a Spectreer and uh, something I don't remember. I know he didn't have Mans last. Oh yeah, he dropped Prim for Salamence. So yeah, so that's what he brought. That's what I have. I can just jump into the battle just uh, like this. And we can take it from here. And if I were in the match right now, I would have said the usual of good luck, I found Esther. Let's have a good battle. Because it's the semi-finals, very close to the finals itself. And of, and of course, I mean, it's come on, it's semi-finals, we have to win no matter what. He leads off with the Yuxi as I level with my Petrorant. To, you know, try, try to maybe mess him up a little, or even just parting shot if wanted. I figured that if he led Yuxi, it's to get rocks early. As I was looking into his team, so I decided here. <laughs> I guess that's a problem why why I'm taking so much time. I don't take, <laughs> I don't just click the move immediately. I just take take a good, at least a good thirty seconds before playing. So I guess I have to be <laughs> on par with me of the past, which is almost impossible. But yeah, I did consider switching out actually. I don't, I'm literally just replaying the match right now without like seeing what I did, just be ready. But yeah, I stayed as he get rocks. So I tried to go for the, for the malignant to get a poison off. Like this. Which I don't get unfortunately, as he's leftovers. So I failed to get the 50% chest. And I believe here I was thinking if it was worth to take a psychic just to put a new shot out or to just go hard Gudra. Which maybe it is better, but in case he was trying to u just U-turn on me, it could have been a bit bad. Because I would just get momentum on. So I go for burning shot and he reveals psychic noise as a psychic move. Which is a good move to have in case I try to heal off of something. But because the movie is weak, even without any spdf investment, I am able to avoid a two shot. So now I can party shot out of it. And after this little animation of uh, 
parting shot goes and Patreon switches out. I believe here Mio the Pass should think of going Gudra here because uh, because I mean he's Gudra. I have knockoff to remove its leftovers to try and just get damage on it because I also need to know what move it has on the UC. Do they have like Encore, T Wave before I try to sell with Crown for no reason? So we'll go to my Gudra for this, exactly. There should be a free knockoff here. Okay, sorry if I make some little sound. It's a little cold outside, but I'm not sick or anything, so don't worry, I'm used to the cold. I'm Canadian after all. So I go for the knockoff, of, of course. Doing good damage to Yuxi and removing his leftovers. Or if it switches out, maybe to Muck, because Muck can have sticky hold to absorb a knockoff without getting its item roof. But I will be fine with this because I can just go to Petron after this and just get a recover off. I would actually be just be careful of him doubling out predicting my Petron. I wish I could just uh, uh, move a few seconds uh, just so he can just ignore the wait time, but I don't have uh, anything for this. So he goes for psychic noise, does nothing because it's a minus one, in a, and also I'm a Gudra. So I okay, get a good knockoff on it. <laughs> Which now limits the UXC skip uh, uh hit taking ability. So here I should go for of course the stronger move I have being Dragon Pulse, but I think actually I think I tried to go for Scald and try in case he tried to switch out so I can maybe snag a burn. If he stays then it's still fine. Yeah indeed, I went for Scald. But it revealed Encore, so I did good to not go into my Iron Crown because I would have been Encore Lock otherwise. And I need my booster energy to stay for until it dies. So now, the Psychic Noise is worn off. I could technically stay and click Knock Off again. I knew I could do that because, you know, it's weekend now. I'm just trying to think of the reason why I actually wanted to switch into Petcharon. I think it was because of Mock, exactly. Because then I would just be like locked into knockoff and then switching to Petcharon would have been obvious. So I decided to do it now because I thought it wouldn't go for Psychic Noise again. And if he has U-Turn, I mean, it's bad, but at least I get Helmet damage, which will really make sure UXC can really not take a hit from Crown. If he's like somehow a Max Pedef or something. Yeah, you see, now you see super low on health that should die off a plus one tachyon color from crown at this range. And besides, I took a resisted U-turn. I can still heal with Petron later. So if he tries to go Scrafty, I can just recover it off. If he goes Spectre, I can just go uh, Terrapagos. I will have my shell broken, but so be it. We are waiting. Actually, is there, is there something I can do to just ex uh, accelerate? Just the playtime uh, doesn't seem so, no. So I guess we're gonna just gonna stick into it for a little while. How has it been for you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful time enjoying the other match of BBR as well, which is between Owen and Viz. Two very good battler. Of course, they can only they can only be one of them. They can win, just like oh, they can be, only be one or as they can win. It goes to undead, which is a spectre. So here, nothing to think about. Like even though my switch is super obvious you know, for him to potentially double out, I still have to go Terrapagos. I, I have to. I mean, I have Terrapagos for spectre after all. So pretty easy switch. Do it to the normal type. Switching on my ghost for my go uh, another ghost. And he is taking. So I was a little I was fearing a little bit that he tried to double something, but I switched first, so I knew he stayed. So no need to worry about him doubling out to try and exploit Rock's damage on my Terrapagos. And now it's Yeah, Rocks. And he goes for Calm Mind. <laughs> So now it's getting a little risky. Good thing I have Crunch to hit it on his defense stat. 
but I have to be worried about Wisp, which I thought was the least common uh, idea for him to bring, but I was still afraid of that. Something I fear as well was weakness policy, because, you know, Combine into Dark Pulse, it just gets stronger and stronger. But I still have to go for it, that's my, that's my strongest damaging attack I have. So we go for Crunch, that does about half. We see an item trigger, and it's leftovers. Oh, phew. So he cannot be stronger at all, and I still have, have my move to hit him as hard as I can. And now, because of this disable, my one move that, I, that is able to do somewhat damage to Spectre is, well, unusable. Now, of course, I can just switch out and just, just remove the, the disable, right? But it just looks too much. Like, I just get... I just get rocks damage, which maybe I could have done it once or maybe later. So I tried to go for a fish for a burn of Scorching Sand. It doesn't do a lot of damage because it's plus two. But I do stack the burn, which is great. Like, I was just afraid to just switch Terrapagos in and out and just have a, a Pokemon just get a uh, giant kiss too hard on damage. Maybe Petcharont could have been good because resist. It forces another kiss, and he, uh, and he takes helmet damage because kiss makes contact with helmet. Maybe I could have done that, but in my head I was like, I think I have, I have enough staying power to just stall out the disable because I'm AV. Dragon kiss is still weak in base power. It will recover some some HP because it's, it's getting boosted, but at least thanks to the burn, he doesn't get leftovers, and he doesn't do a lot of damage thanks to me being sped death and AV. So I just stay here and get some Scorching Sand damage. That doesn't do a lot, but it's some damage nonetheless. It's just until I get another Crunch. I mean, my Crunch back up. So I go for the Sand. That doesn't do a lot of damage. But even if Terrapa goes, will, will go down, my plan was to at least Bring Spectre at low enough HP for my Iron Crown to revenge kill. Because remember, my booster energy is is uh, EV to boost speed. So I'll be faster than Spectre. And he doesn't have the moveset nor item to get a speed boost. Like we know it's leftovers, no Salak or Blunder, whatnot. And he, can, he, does, he has Disable plus Combine, so he has he also Kiss, so he has Shadow Ball in his ass. Like a big crit on Scorching Sand right here, which is great. Of course, it's not like a crit crunch or something, but it's still amazing to get because I'm bringing him back to low, uh, at least to half, right here. And I'm no longer disabled, so I get my crunch here as well, which is big. So like, he has to attack me now to get some HP from Dream Kiss. Yeah, to think that he's doing about 80, but this amount of health is still big for him to regain. That's just insane. So I get my crunch. That brings him to very low health. The first job doesn't really matter because it is range. And now it was only to think. Yeah, the sable is obvious for me to disable the crunch. But I also consider to go for scorching sand here because if he goes for sand, he just. Uh, it just uh, okay, I have some, some hard time to explain, but my idea is that I just buy a turn from the sable by going for sand. But in my hand, I was like, he's probably just gonna go for damage at this point because he just easily printed the disable. So I, I, I tried to be uh, fancy with crunch here, I believe. I mean, the point is, yes, disable the crunch is super obvious. So I could just went for sand, but I didn't want to be obvious and just him clicking the uh, draining kiss. Unfortunately, I get, I don't get it right. I don't get it right at all. Which, I mean, it does look a little scary as well, because now he's able to get a dr another Drain Kiss because of this. But I have to make sure it, it stays as low HP as possible. Because again, I need to rematch Killer with Iron Crown. So here, I believe I tried to go for another Scorching Sand. Like this, as he goes for another drain kiss. 
I do survive another kiss, but the amount of health is regaining from uh, the, the kiss. And the damage I do from uh, Scorching Sand, it does gain HP in comparison. So, I believe it was on this turn. I believe that instead of staying with Terrapagos, I went Petra Runt because again he's forced to join in Kiss, so I get some ch some uh, helmet chip, and he shouldn't regain everything. Like he's boosted and there's rocks, but I believe it even at this point it wouldn't kill Petra Runt because it resisted. And I was thinking that the the helmet will put it in range for Crown because yes, it will regain some HP because of how Kiss work, but there's helmet so there's. There's a 16% that's going to be removed. So uh, my thought will be like, it puts him at about the range that he is right now. Or maybe even even a tiny bit lower because he shouldn't kill Petron to get out of Petron's HP. That was what I was thinking. So I wanted to do my Petron to get the helmet on the Dream Kiss. Because it does contact. Yeah, like this. Yeah, see, it doesn't kill, so it did. So it's gonna bring it about like 60 HP. Which I think he's getting damage percentage, even though it's supposed to be a 60 HP, is wild. So that so that put him at about. That did put him at about uh, what it was just previously. So that forced a Shadow Ball because it cannot kiss again because it will regain no HP and just take Helmet Chip. I believe a play I could have made was double bank to uh, Terrapagos to absorb Shadow Ball and then force a my game of him going for either Kiss or Shadow Ball. Actually, no, I don't think it's possible because uh, Petron dies to rocks, so yeah, no reason to do to go for this at all. So now he might be plus three, but he is about ten. Is about what twelve percent of HP? It is time for Iron Crown to save the day from this horse, from this. Horse that is horsing around, but it's time for me to bring my own horse. Iron Crown hits the field. The booster energy activates, enabling core drive to boost its speed like planned. I was able to jump out at Jabal Tech enough time to know that I was able to get a speed boost. I go for a Tachyon Cutter now to kill this. Horse of the undead. This undead horse. Horse, horse. I hate horsing around myself either. I will wipe up, wipe up my strong tachyon. It's high special attack. Maybe not invested, but it's still strong nonetheless. I am waiting for the move to be used. I am waiting for the move to be used. Tachyon Cutter does it! Oh, please kill, please kill, please kill, please kill, please kill! And that's the game. Yeah, that, that that's it. That's the game. Everything is slower than, than Spectre. It dies to Spectre. That, that, that's it. The horse has... The horse has defeated me. Th there's there's no saving. Arcanet dies, Gudra dies, Terrapagos dies, everything dies. That's it. That's the end of the run. There's no denying it. Nothing survive. Everything dies. There's nothing I can do anymore. My SQ's face is still intact, so I'm slower. Arcanine will just die because it takes rocks and Spectre is Omega boosted. Same goes for Gudra. And Terrapagos has no more HP at all. I just got Arcanid hoping I would somehow survive. Like for a miracle. So I'm going for the Terra now because I can. It, it changed nothing for me so I might as well just get the Terra now.
and then he goes for Shadow Ball. He's like plus four because he just KO because of Scream Day. But no, I, I die. I'm choice man, not AV or anything. I'm just dead. I tried to go Terrapagos to force in a Dream Kiss. To then, okay, I, I will, you, might, you guys don't mind me accelerating at this point. But yeah, I, I tried to do bait in a Dream Kiss because yes, he will regain his HP with Gudra, but at least he will be a minus one and maybe he's not max speed on Spectre and has some bulk, so I still could maybe outspeed. Maybe. Which now leads out to Ice Q versus the world. Clicking Icicle Crash. We, we need to be Omega lucky now to win. It's so it's so small, but maybe no. He's still fast, even at minus one. And the last Pokemon on our team standing is Terrapagos. That's gonna get KO'd by Stealth Rock now. That's it. That the dream is, the dream will be done after this. Forty-seven HP. Not enough to survive stealth rocks. I go into Terrapagos, and that's it. The game is over. GG to Aster. We literally got what we got served versus Thomas. He left with something to get hazards. This is tough. Went to his sweeper and yeah. That, 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 that's it. He was able, able to sweep his factory here. This one is this one is very strong indeed. He was just able to brute force his way to a normal type. That yeah. There's nothing else to say. I wasn't as spectre proof as I thought I was. I thought about the stable bring, but I thought it would go more smooth, more smooth than this. There's, yeah, maybe I, maybe I'll, let's just, okay, them, like this. So yeah, that was the game. We unfortunately end at semifinals, just like we did it back in season five, as our best uh, reach we were able to do. But I'm not mad. I'm not mad. You, you guys don't have to worry about this. Yeah, I'm not. I wasn't able to reach finals, which is sad. But I did did some thinking after this match, of course. Just some thinking to myself. Of course, I didn't beat myself for just losing here. It's just some stuff I need to re to realize to myself. Like. You know that, yeah, I was able to get here and everything. And I did it with a team a little bit more serious than normal. I mean, I used all my points for once. Just like, <laughs> but I've been taking it back. And, it, and I, feel, it, I just realized a few stuff. That, you know, I was able to have fun because I was myself. Yes, I was. I did. Uh, I did really try hard for this, obviously, like all, like always. Like I, like in a sense, that I just took it, uh, take it a step uh, forward to make it even more serious. But despite all this, I was still able to be me. I mean, I brought some set that seems to be just unreasonable to ever bring, even on a good Pokemon. We all got very good moments during the entire season. I mean. We got to copycat Sylveon versus D Ray. We got like after that what we brought uh I'm thinking we had, I mean we had the defense girl Pitcharmont versus uh Keegan on week four. Then uh week seven we got the Terrapago sweep. We ate we got the Oshawa sweep. <laughs> and then we got the Terrapagos from quarterfinals after this. So yeah, we might have lost here. But what a season it was. We still finished with the best record out of everybody. Seven, seven win, only one loss, plus 19 differential. That by able to lock us number one seed. Even ending here, this is by far my best performance of Generation 9 so far. 
and I hope I will be able to continue on this, on this path and still be able to be myself. So, on that match being done, again, GG Aster, I hope you'll be able to play a good final versus the winner of Owen and Viz. So, of course, we have, you guys have to check them out, so you'll be able to know who won. And on that, yeah, I guess that concludes BBR for us now. I hope this run just bleed you guys, and I hope you. I hope I I was able to just improve a little bit. Like I have included like the team building for this. Yeah, I think at this point it's just gonna become my thoughts of the season. So of course you guys can just leave if you if you guys have enough. But yeah, I hope that the team builder were a good part of the video that will be able to just keep on doing them even though they're you know not. I mean, it's you're watching me up. You it's not gonna be like it's gonna be scuff. It's not gonna be perfect. I mean, it's, you have them. That's that's the point. That's the point that matters. It's just the effort to do them. That I hope it pleases you guys to you know little get to know a little bit about me when I cook in the kitchen, obviously. And I think by far the best format I have was basically just having the teal builder in game, and not having to just. Show the video with me present me presenting, then past me showing. I can just have present me doing building and playing at the same time. That makes less work for me as well, so even better. <laughs> and yeah, I think I just said what I wanted else for the video, like what I was able to use to do the record. Yeah, so I think on this, I can just close the book on, on this season of BBR for real. And then obviously. We're gonna do another Wi-Fi uh, draft league, actually very soon, believe it or not. And I believe it's gonna be one week after uh, BBR ends, which is funny to think we're gonna be doing another league this fast. But it's gonna be a different league, so it's not gonna be BBR. It's called L LTM, so low tier mayhem, as the name suggests. It's gonna be some low tier, so I'm gonna be excited to play this. Obviously, we, we did everything at this point. Everything is ready. We did the, the, the of course, the drafting. We're basically, I mean, at the point I'm, running, I'm recording this, we're technically week one started, but it's not really week one started. We can just play week one early if we want to. But yeah, and I believe there will not be any stream of revealing the draft of everybody. It's just going to be like everybody will do the draft analysis video. So like, no, like live draft analysis like you know this guy picked this and then this guy had to pick this guy it, there's not gonna be any of that so don't be surprised if you guys don't see any of this it's gonna be just a little chill low tier league and i'm gonna say it now i drafted some fun stuff uh, because i decided that for me to succeed i need to be me the real me so i have to be comfortable with me so yeah, I hope you guys will be uh, excited to see some uh, low tier on the channel because I always, I pretty much always did regular. And on that, I will just conclude the video. Thank you guys for watching and we will just see each other soon. So see ya everybody, later.